In this video, I will show you how to edit like shots. I have a raw photo that I can use for this. And I want to create something like this, for example, with a normal raw photo that was taken. So try to stick around until the end so you see the whole process of creating things like this. And so you can improve your own wildlife photos by using this technique. All right, first of all, there is no right or wrong way to do something in Photoshop. There are like a hundred different ways to achieve something. So everyone has his own way to create something. And as long as you get the result you want, you're doing it right. So I don't know how he edits his photos, but this is how I will do it when I see his photos. So I got this raw file from Avinash. So thank you Avinash for sending me this photo from you. And this is what I'm going to use to, to create this as an example. So when I open up this raw file, it's getting opened in camera filter in Photoshop. So if you just open up a Photoshop or go to camera raw filter, you also get the same screen. So first thing, obviously what I want to do here is I need to make sure this is a bit darker. So let's play with the first settings here. So the contrast, I will drop a bit here to the left, get a bit rid of the highlights. Also a bit darker shadows. Let's increase the whites a bit and a bit less blacks. Now, next one is the texture. I'm going to drop this a bit and increase the clarity. So this is basically the only thing I'm going to do now, because I first want to work on the lighting on this photo. After that, I can do the colors. So let's open this up. All right, this is the photo. Now, first thing I would do is to crop this image. So I'm going to go for four by five. That's the size for Instagram. And here I can just scale this down to the size I want. I want to have like this tiger in the center, but a bit of these areas around him. Let's make sure these whiskers are also in this shot. So something like this. Press enter. That's okay. All right. Next one is to start working on the lighting. We need to make sure the background gets darker. So let's first Press Ctrl or Command J to duplicate this layer. Press the right mouse and convert to a smart object. And that way we have a different layer for this design. Now, if I go to filter, camera raw filter, I can start with doing the changes to the color. The background is really green. I want to get rid of that green. So first let's go to color mixer and find the green. So this is the background green. I don't want to have that green, so I'm going to go here to luminance and chop this green. So you can see here, the background gets darker and we get more focus on this tiger here. That's exactly what I want to. And we can also chop some color from it. Yes, I want to make like this the tiger really colorful and the background not important, maybe darker. Let's give it a bit more bluish. Just a bit like that. All right, let's leave it for now like this. So we get the focus on our tiger now. All right, now we can work on the lighting. So for the lighting, I would create a curves layer. Press this, so we only affect this layer underneath it. And let's first get rid of all the highlights here. So I'm gonna drop this really low like that. I think this is fine. I only watch the background here, so I wanna make sure the background is dark enough as I want to. So this is fine for me. After that, I will press on the mask of it from this curves layer. Then go here to brushes. Here you have the settings of the brushes and here you can select a normal soft round brush. This will be fine for this one. And here you can make sure the settings are at 100% and the hardness at zero. So I wanna have a soft edge. Let's eventually select all these layers. These two, not the first one and transform flip this horizontal because I want to have it watching that way. Now let's click on the mask of these of the curves and select the black color as your front color. If you don't have black, you can press D on your keyboard and just rotate it like that. Now we can start brushing. We need to make sure that one side will be lighter and the other side will be darker. So you need to have a little bit of imagination where the light is going to come on its face. So it's, I'm assuming it's 
like here let's also do his eye don't wanna make his eye dark and we need to do this precisely because when we do this we make the background lighter and we don't want to make the background lighter so i'm gonna press this precisely on this tiger so here let's do a bit here here this side of his nose will be darker because he's blocking that light let's also do a bit here because if we have lighting from the left side coming it's gonna also hit these areas here and this area will be blocked by his head so he, this area will stay darker now we can also do his ear on this side let's only do one side of his ear lighter like that and a bit more here don't want to have it too dark just one side dark and one side light like that all right now we can do some dodge and burn you can see here this was before and this after it looks a lot better already let's do some dodge and burn for the dodge and burn we can make areas even darker and lighter and see better details in this tiger so first thing i will do is to create a new layer then go to edit fill and here you want to select 50 percent gray with a 50 percent gray layer i have a separate layer where i can work on change the blend mode to overlay so we won't see the layer itself but only the stuff we are working on so here i'm going to select the burn tool and select highlights first keep it at the range of around 40 maybe 50 if you don't have highlighted colors and start brushing areas even darker because we want to have this side really dark so i'm gonna brush here we also want the bottom side here darker sort of vignette here effect just here a bit here 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 and let's do especially this thing here so we can see where this ends and the lining ends there so just a bit of brushing here you can see the difference this was before this after we created a bit darker areas and it looks more natural than only using curves now if i select midtones here and i drop the exposure to let's say around 20 percent maybe even less because he's already pretty dark here, let's say 50%. And I'm gonna basically do the same to make it even darker. So just brush a bit of these areas so we get more shadows on this side of this animal. So we can create like a really difference between the left and right side of this tiger. Let's make the brush bigger and do a bit here. You can also do the bottom here, like that. So we get more focus on this tiger instead of this background. All right, don't do it too much here because if you do it too much, it's going to get like a black area here and we still want to make it look natural. Now we can select shadows and drop this even more, like really low, around 6%. And let's do even more brushing. Just a bit extra here. Let's do a bit here again. So now we have a really nice contrast between the left and right side. I think this looks pretty fine. So let's compare this when I disable these layers. This is how we this is how we started. Let me flip this to see the difference. This is how we started and this is how it looks like now. All right, next thing to do is let's lighten up the areas that are light now. So for this, I'm going to select these curves here and create another curves on top of it. Make sure to press this again. And this time I'm going to increase the highlights so we get more light in this image because when we don't have this, it's look really dark and I don't want to have it like that. Now we want to make sure we only affect this tiger and not the background. So I'm going to press Ctrl I to delete it and do brushing with the white brush on this layer make sure to select the brush and not the burn or dodge tool and start brushing these areas even lighter just a bit lighter here so we get some more highlights in this image or else it's gonna get too dark and you won't see the details anymore 
maybe a bit here it looks like nothing happens but it actually gets lighter but because it's like so so little bit of changes you probably won't even notice it but believe me you will see it at the end so this was before and this after you can see here we got a lot lighter now so that is actually pretty much it for this brushing here you can see here i brushed a bit of this background so i'm gonna fix that i don't want to have this background light and want to have a dark so i need to brush these parts so i need to do this really precisely on on this animal so just zoom in a lot and brush these edges again so you really can see where it ends and when the background starts like that all right next thing we can do is to work on the color so for the lighting i think this looks fine for me now what i'm going to do now is i'm going to duplicate all these layers and make it a one layer so i'm going to press on the last layer and press command or control on windows alt shift e and now i have one layer above all the other ones if i go to right mouse and select convert smart object i can have a separate layer and i can change things again later if i want to change it so now i go to filter camera filter and here i can do some final adjustments to this photo so let's go back here and see how we can improve this maybe give it a bit more contrast like that here we can do even more highlights yeah, just a bit more not too much let's see the shadows we can make even darker and the whites let's leave the whites if you get too much white it's gonna look weird let's see the blacks let's make the blacks a little bit lighter texture i also always like to drop the texture increase the clarity gives it feeling like the photo is soft and we still see details let's give it a bit of a dehaze like that vibrance we can drop this because we have like a photo in the dark now and you won't see that much colors at night so let's also drop this a bit a bit less saturation now we can move on let's not touch that one let's go to color mixer and here i can get the colors right so let's see if we can change the background even more this is the green one let's change it like that and that right not gonna touch that one let's also do saturation again for the background and here i can change the background from green to really black and white something like this i think this looks pretty fine only thing we have to add here now is to give it a bit of a vignette so i'm gonna go here let's see vignette here it is by optics and give it like really vignette thing like that so you have the background really dark at the sides you can see the difference here i'm gonna do it like this the last thing i would do to this photo is to lighten up the eyes i will create a new layer on top of it and fill this with 50 percent gray again change the blend mode to overlay and select the dodge tool and with the dodge tool you can just select mid-tones here around 50 percent and lighten up these eyes a bit so let's make the brush a bit smaller here let's even make this smaller like that and just slightly lighten up this eyes don't have to be much if you do too much it's gonna look fake so you can see here the difference this looks a lot better there is another thing that i would do here and that is create a gradient map on top of everything i have all these 105 inspiring b gradients and when i scroll through these i can change like the overall color tones of this whole image so usually I do this at the end and I pick something that looks natural to me and it helps me blend this image better together. I will link these, these gradients in the description of the video. So for this one, I would need something a bit more like brownish, a bit like the fur color. Let's see something 
maybe something like this and only thing i would do here is change the blend mode to soft light this is way too much so i'm just gonna drop this really low like just a bit of this like 10 percent maybe 20 percent something like this so it gets a bit more darker and i have a feeling this looks more natural so these are really small things that improve the overall image if you want to learn how to export in the best possible quality for instagram make sure to check out this video until then see you on the next video